right. He doesn't care. He just melees you to death. EQO made it look easy. My name is Josue Corona, and my battle tag is EQO, and I play for the Philadelphia Fusion. Genji can pretty much get high ground instantly. That makes him an kind of assassin that you always have to be aware of. My settings are pretty typical. I use a 240Hz monitor, so I keep it display based, so my FPS is consistent. For my Genji settings, I have different sensitivity than my other heroes. I use 1600 DPI with 2.37 cents in game. For my crosser, I always change it around. I don't think crosser is something that matters that much. For my ultimate key, I have it on two simply because when I first started playing Overwatch, I felt like I would fat figure my Q too much. I also swapped my melee to F, and that's about it for my Genji settings. You need to understand the damage output of Genji and the damage potential that you might do on squishy targets. Your first priority, obviously, is always get high ground if possible. And your second priority is to always poke before you can get a combo. If you right click uh, right after you dash, you can animation cancel with your melee. You dash, right click, melee. That's one of the primary Genji combos that you're probably gonna be looking into if you're playing like a sneaky Genji. If I'm fighting a Zenyatta in a choke like this where there's a lot of walls near me, you can maximize the most damage you can by right click melee and then you wall climb, dash, and you, you're gonna have another right click so you can probably win the 1v1 in around two seconds. When I'm gonna Dragon Blade, I wanna be on the back line already. I like to dash above them and then Dragon Blade. You don't wanna have Dragon Blade and pull your dash first because then if you don't kill anyone, you're gonna be in a very bad situation. Thanks for watching my episode of Game Set. I hope I made you a better Genji player today.